Eddie the Echidna, written and illustrated by Maxine Turner. Eddie the Echidna likes to go adventuring late at night when his camouflage was exactly right. He sleeps during the day hidden deep within the woods, covered in leaves and not a prickle, not a spine can be seen from behind. Out into the night, Eddie went adventuring till he got stuck in the little tin houses, TV and tenoring. The TV antenna made a bang and a whack and Mark sat up and said, what was that? Outside into the darkness, Mark did go, holding the torch, scanning to and fro, till he found an echidna stuck against the wall with the TV antenna wrapped around him like wool. Oh dear, you have got yourself in quite a bother, exclaimed Mark. Mark carefully tugged the antenna wire free, allowing the echidna to continue his adventurous spree. Eddie the echidna found his freedom again, and he took off like a fast-moving steam train, following the tin wall lining like it was a railway line, with his spine scraping the walls as he went. Looking like a walking garden bed, his spines were full of leaves and twigs, adding very nicely to his forest look as he trundled off. Mark rubbed his sleepy head and yawned. Ah, oh, good night, Eddie. Do not do too much damage. The next morning, Mark looked for where Eddie had been, leaving behind quite a scene. There were scuffle-shaped echidna holes left at the base of all the trees and a hole dug inside the termite's nest. But the strangest hole of all was inside the Temrin tree pot. How did Eddie manage to climb up to that spot? gasped Mark. There beside the plant was a giant hole dug in the shape of an echidna. I am sure Eddie had to be very adventurous to get into this spot. Did he climb the rock? thought Mark. The tamarin tree looked sad till the hole was filled in and some watering was done with a little sit in the sun. And Eddie? He is asleep somewhere, hidden deep within the woods, covered in leaves and not a prickle, not a spine can be seen from behind. They will never know it was me, thought Eddie, as he added another leaf to his spine. 